What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the off-season blues. Today is a little less blue because Jeremy and I are going out and we're going to set some cameras up targeting bighorn sheep uh, for a change. So we're kind of looking forward to it, going to an area we haven't really been in, um, but a friend of ours drew a bighorn sheep tag this year. So we are going to scout as much as we can and try to help out. We're looking forward to it, but it is currently 3.30 a.m. Yeah, we're a little crazy, I know, it's cool. It's the middle of June, it's supposed to be 95 today. Most people would not be doing this today. And we might be wondering why we are here in a little bit, but we're gonna go grind it out and get some cameras up and explore some new country. We are beginning our ascent into sheep country. I say that as we're going downhill, but that's all right. I didn't know we were ascending. Ascending. The grand scheme of things, we've went up since we left town, so we're ascending. But hopefully we can find a few sheep to show you today. I'm gonna put up some cameras to find us the sheep while we can't be looking for the sheep. We hope. Yep. Should be good. We're a little greener to the sheep hunting thing. We see them all the time when we're elk hunting and whatnot, but this is the first time that we're actually targeting them. So it's super early, it's June, it's gonna be hot today. It's also super early in the morning. So, so <laughs> we've been in the truck for over an hour and it's 5.30 a.m. It gets light so early that it's weird. You Like if, if it was hunting season, legal shooting was before 5 a.m. So it makes for long days, but it's all good. We'll see what we can find. We decided to peek over a hill, sit down. We're gonna glass for a little bit. See if we can turn up any sheep. Sure, we'll turn up some mule deer. This country is really cool. Oh, I'm on video. So far, we did not spot any, but that's okay. We're gonna keep moving, eventually, get a couple cameras up on some water sources and call her good. It's always fun getting out, whether it's June or not. Checking out new ground. That's a good one right here, this is close. Second one in. Good sign. The old uh, computer scouting paid off. We're just heading down here to put a camera up on a water hole that's literally just over the hill from those rams we just saw. So we should good be sign. able to snag some good pictures of them. Hell yeah. Dude, I just looked up and they were walking right at us. <laughs> that's crazy. We didn't even expect to see any sheep today, but I'd say we found the area of their hangout 
this time of year. Two of those rams were pretty good. Yeah, the front two were good ones it looked like, so I have to look at the, look at the footage a little closer and see what it's like. Sweet. at them. Pretty cool. Two good rams in there. Venture down to this water tank, get a camera set. Move on, see if we can find some more. We didn't want to bump those sheep anymore, so we're going to sneak down here and get a camera up. It's kind of windy. We forgot the mic, so Sorry if the audio is not that good, but I'm trying to get some cameras up before it gets brutally hot. It's still in like the 60s right now. It's pretty comfortable, but it's going to be short-lived. So we're moving down. This is not the most forgiving country. It doesn't look that steep, but it's a lot steeper than it looks. The way down's easy. The way back out will be a little more of a grind. But two good rams located already. Not that it means anything about where they'll be come September, but that's okay. Shortly after uh, running into those bighorn, which we were looking for, uh, we found a spring that's actually really well hidden. Um, we were we found it on the map, and it, it turned out to be even better than we thought. Should be a good spot for pictures um, to kind of get a get a judge on what size bighorns are out here. We saw two good ones, so gotta get. Better, uh, better angles, closer look at them. See if they're worth uh, pursuing come September. So uh, we're also on a, a side quest. There may be, well, they're they're not maybe. There definitely is some mule deer out here. Um, could be some some big boys roaming around. So might uh, might turn into a good mule deer spot for us too. Let's hope. I guess we'll see. Well, we just got done setting up that camera. Come across a mule deer fawn. Uh, Mom was standing up on the hill, so I just kind of bailed out of there. But uh, we're gonna go hit up this other water tank down here and put a camera up. First, we had to have a little seeker energize. But if you haven't already checked them out, be sure to check them out. Uh, seeker is made by Run to Gun Jordan. Awesome dude, runs it. You won't regret it. It's also a great pre-workout, but it's awesome for days like this. It's hot, helps hydrate you, uh, gives you a little energy kick, and it's good for work too. Just keep your focus, cut the soda, hard to complain, and it tastes amazing. So on top of all, it's good. Well, we got another one up, a water tank in sheep country, so it's kind of fun, something different. Saw some rams already today. Throw a couple cameras up. Good stuff, it's not that hot yet, it's about to be, but this is kind of a sneaky one. We just put it here because it's kind of a more obvious water tank. Not a lot of places to mount it, plus it hides it a little better down here. Hopefully keeps people honest. 
but there's a bunch of trails that funnel in right to this side of the water tank so we're thinking we'll get some good pictures of them coming in not so good of them actually drinking but that's all right heading in to set up the third camera of the day at a very random spot the water hole we were heading to ended up being way too close to the road and we aren't big fans of donating trail cameras to thieves so we're gonna avoid that spot that. throw one up over here and just hope for the best found a big funnel coming off this mega ridge up here and there's a what used to be an alfalfa field down below so our thought is if we catch some rain because it's really dry right now that greens up the deer will funnel out of here and also we're still in sheep country so you never know but worth a try camera number three Kind of in a natural funnel where it leads into a meadow leading down to an alfalfa field. So, not super optimistic about it, but we're here. Like Jeremy said, you never pack a camera in and then back out. You just got to put it up. So, here it is. Get her adjusted and head home. Well, we got three cameras up. We saw some sheep. So, all in all, Pretty dang good day for June. And heck, it's not even that hot yet. It's only like 80 right now, probably. <laughs> <laughs> With the breeze, it doesn't feel too bad. But, thought I'd wrap this video up. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out all of our buddies, TNK Hunting Gear, Gator Outdoors. Stay tuned for more to come. With Gator, working class bow hunter, Check them out, snag a hat off their site, sticker, whatever, and most importantly, listen to their podcast because it's the best one out there. But we're almost back to the truck. We'll see you next time.